towel and wrapping it around the handhold. This protects your hand from coming into contact with the copper. It has to be wet or else electricity will not flow. Next, turn on the speaker and turn the volume up almost halfway. Turn on your synchrometer. Briefly touch the probe to the handhold. You should hear a cracking sound like popcorn. Now try touching the probe to the left test plate. If you don't hear anything, try touching the handhold. Either one or the other will produce a popping sound, but not both. Whichever one produced the sound, use that to touch the right hand test plate. That one will only produce a popping sound when the switch is on. Now you know that everything has tested out correctly, try doing a probe. Adjust the volume of the speaker as necessary. Finally, get started testing whatever you wish. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to use a synchrometer and learning how to build one. For less than $35 in parts, you can build your own synchrometer that works just as well as the ones that we use in our training classes. Remember to practice and stay healthy.